Hey, Space Cadets, are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Here's the Space News. Space the Final Frontier. These are the voyages of the CLB Enterprise. It's continuing mission to seek out new goals and achievements and to help bring news to people of the Earth. To boldly go where no reporter has gone before. Houston, this is your sports reporter, Brad Cook from the CLB News Team. And today's theme is all about outer space. And I have some sports, space sports facts for you. The Astros were an established cult and they played in the Astrodome in 2000 before moving to Minute Maid Park. The Rockets played in San Diego as an expansion team uh, for the 1967-1968 season. Uh, the Dallas Stars won the Stanley Cup in controversial fashion against the Buffalo Sabres. That's all your space sports facts for today. On to, on to regular schedule programming. The NHL All-Star Weekend is here and it's in Vegas. You can watch the action on Sportsnet. In NBA news, number seven returns to the six as the Miami Heat take on the Toronto Raptors. And you can catch that game on Sportsnet One. And from the land down under, congratulations to Ash, Bar Ash Barty as she brought the championship home to Australia. And also congratulations to Rafa Nadal who also won the championship in Australia, but he's from Spain. And next week, I will be on, be reporting on the Super Bowl between the Cincinnati Bengals and the LA Rams. This has been your outer space slash sports update. I am Brad Cook from the CLB News team signing off. Now please tell Houston that we don't have a problem. Hi CLB News space team. I'm, tell I'm going to be telling you about the movie Space Jam and Space Jam, uh, the second one. Space Jam, is a 1996 American live action, live action co sports comedy film directed by Joe Pichica. It stars Michael Jordan as a fictional version of himself and the Looney Tunes characters. It's all about Michael Jordan's fictional retirement from the NBA when the Looney Tunes and Michael Jordan have to play a match against visiting aliens called the Monsters. Monsters. The aliens intend to enslave them for their entertainment park if they can beat them. In the end, the tunes win the game and don't need to go to the amusement park. After all, other basketball stars, Larry Bird, Charles Barkley, and other basketball players also starred in the movie as well. It also starred a new character for the Looney Tunes called named Lola Bunny, Bugs Bunny's love interest and eventual girlfriend. Other tunes in this movie included Daffy Duck, Sylvester and Tweety, and Wiley Coyote. It was released on November 15, 1996. The film received, received mixed reviews from critics and it was a box office success grossing over 250 million dollars worldwide. Space Jam A New Legacy was released on July 16, 2021. It is the sequel to the first movie. LeBron James stars in this movie with the Looney Tunes. Zendaya Zendaya voices Lola Bunny in this, in that movie. They have to try and beat the Goon Squad this time with LeBron James and his son's help to delete the Goon Squad and they do beat them in the end. 
the movie made $162.8 million in the box office. I enjoy both of these movies. My favorite two characters in the movies are Bugs Bunny and Lola Bunny. For CLB News, this is Jeff Hopkins. Have a great, good week, CLB peeps, and take off. Hi, my name is Stephanie from the CLB News team. I'm going to talk about uh, Space Jam uh, 2. Um, I like Space Jam because a couple weeks ago, me and my mom and my stepdad would would watch it. And the reason why I like that movie is because I like, I, I like Bugs Bunny and everybody that that plays on the movie. When I do have time, I, will wa- I watch it by myself. This is Stephanie signing off. Take on the day, you guys. And remember to social distance when you go out. And remember to wear a mask. And I have one, one good news to tell everybody. Uh, tomorrow I go back to the group home to see all my friends and stuff. So I'm so excited about that. Because I haven't seen them over a month or so. I'm so excited to see all my friends at the group home again and all my staff. Take on the day, you guys. Peace out. Hi, my name is Laura Francis. I'm from the CLB News team, and we're talking about space. How's it going, everybody? In space. I'm going to be talking about Elf. Elf is an American television sitcom that aired on NBC from 1986 to 1990. The title character is Elf. Elf stands for alien life form. Elf spaceship crash lands in the garage of the suburban middle class Tanner family. Elf is a smart mouth creature. His his spaceship is beyond repair. He's ugly. He's short. He's got bad attitude. What's the family to do? Why take in the furry creature, of course, and watch at as he comments on humankind and tries to eat their pet cat. Is a delicacy on his home planet of Melmac. Unsure what to do at Tanner's, take Elf into the home and hide him from the alien task force. Part of the U.S. military specializing in alien and their nosy neighbor Trevor and Raquel, Raquel until Elf can pair his spacecraft. Crate spacecraft. He generally hides in the kitchen. Everything eventually Elf revealed Elf home planet Melmac exploded due to nuclear war. Elf is a very funny TV show. You can still watch it on YouTube and stream it. I recommend if you want to laugh a lot a laugh you should watch it here is a short video so to law the gas is on i forgot to light the oven oh well better late than never Okay, and then other thing is CLB calendar for February. There's new um, things on it that we're doing now, and they're really good. And don't forget the Valentine's dance and my birthday is coming up. Have a great week, everybody. Peace out. Hi, everybody. I'm Sarah, and I'm in... CLB News Team. Christine, February the 6th. We got Suzanne, February the 6th. We got Jordy Lynn Taylor, February the 8th. So, Haley Duff, it's February the 19th. In 
85. That's the year. Then Brian Little. February 20th. The year is 1975. Ashley Green. February 21st. The year is 1987. For this month. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. And I hope I see you soon. Hey there, CLB. This is your captain speaking, Captain Dave. And this is the weather for this week. On Wednesday, February 2nd, we're going to have some snow and lots of it. It's going to go all the way through the night. It's so cold, I'm bringing back one of my favorite characters, Mr. Freeze. Tonight's forecast. A freeze is coming. He is one of my favorite characters because it's perfect for this weather. Thursday, February 3rd. We're going to have some more snow throughout the day. And I must say it's a red alert because it's all through Monday through Friday. So stay safe out there. On Friday, February 4th, we're going to have a mix of sun and clouds. And at night, we're going to have some clouds. And here's your weekend. We're going to have some sun and a little bit of clouds and at night we're gonna have a little bit of clouds and on sunday february 6th we're gonna have a mix of sun and clouds and at night it's gonna be cloudy i got a favorite tv show that i've been watching since well since i was a kid my dad used to watch it it's star trek as you can see i'm on the bridge of the enterprise i used to watch a show all the time and i know that you can catch it on netflix you can get the next generation you can get Voyager, the original series of Star Trek with Captain T. Kirk. You can catch that all on Netflix. And if you want to change over to Disney Plus, we've got The Mandalorian. And if you haven't seen it already, we got The Book of Boba Fett. I'm enjoying it. So there's my recommendation of a couple shows and a movie. Again, stay safe out there. This has been your Weather with Dave and with Mr. Freeze. Signing off. Until next week, stay safe. Greetings, CLB. Um, I'm Commander Safford with my with my trusted companion, Grogu. Today I'm going to be reporting on a very famous game, and it's still around today, but it's now revised. <clears throat> the game is called Elite Dangerous. This game was originally came out for the PC in 1987. That game, that game was a was a uh, a sci-fi role-playing game. You're basically a commander in a ship, and it's and it's a free play game. It's one of those where you can explore the universe. You could do tax and missions and free missions. And then the revised edition got released in 2014. Same premise as the 1987, but with updated graphics and and it's in 3D. Believe it or not, there's another game that, Elite, that the company of Elite Dangerous made, and this was a free independent. It was a free to play game, but you had to buy the packs before you could play it. That game was called Star Citizen. Star Citizen surpassed Elite Dangerous because Elite Dangerous had three modes in the game that weren't, weren't released to Star Citizen. Ever since the release of the New Horizons, that's what uh, that's what um, Elite Dangerous released. Star Citizen copied it and they took it a step even further where you can actually go on, where you can actually go on foot with a full EV suit with helmet and whatever. Now, with the release of Elite Dangerous Odyssey, that's where that's where they surpassed Star Citizen. And in Elite Dangerous, you can you can choose to have to serve two different factions. One faction is the Federation. You can uh, have ships like the the Federation Corvette. And then you have, and then you can also serve what's known as the Empire. The Empire has three ships you can choose from. One ship you can choose from is the highest ranking ship of the game. For the Empire is the uh, the uh, the Empire Interdictor Cruiser, I believe is what it's known as. And the uh, and the for the Federation is the uh, the Federation Corvette. The uh, Elite Dangerous came out for the PC. And then when it made its way to consoles, it came out for the PS4 and the Xbox One. 
And then with the release of the new expansion pack for Elite Dangerous Odyssey, it made its way to PS5 and Xbox Series X. Star Citizen you can download on only specifically for PC. You have to buy the packs before you download it because if you just download the game by itself, it'll just say that you don't have a pack downloaded and you can't, you're not able to play it. After you, you do the tutorial mission and you get the feel of what you could do in the game, you can get very far into into discovering new systems or discovering new worlds, uh, finding new planets to mine on, doing uh, bounty hunting, and since with the release of Odyssey, you can do uh, pirating missions where you can actually go into outposts and raid on them for, for resources, but that makes you an outlaw, so I highly suggest you stay away from those missions. So until this next week, this is Commander Chris Stafford signing off. I hope you guys take on the week and make sure to stay safe because as our weatherman said, it's going to be very cold out there and stay safe. Peace. Hello, uh, everybody. This is Chad Ashford from CLP News. Uh, back today, just for a few weeks, and then we're gonna. I'm gonna be talking about space. Uh, two movies. My two favorite movies are uh, with Will Smith. I like Men in Black. There's three movies. I've only seen the two, and I like uh, Independence Day. And uh, not sure when uh, officially they both came out, but. I know Independence Day came back in back in 1990s, the middle of it. Yeah, I really like uh, both of those. And uh, and one thing, I have been to uh, Kennedy Space Center. That's in uh, Florida, and uh, that was great. A huge experience. I recommend anyone who likes space go there. They have a, a simulated ride. It feels like you're going up in space. And uh, it is it is a little uh, expensive, but it's a wonderful ride. One of a lifetime. Thank you for listening to me at CLB. Take care and uh, keep up the good work and keep uh, safe. Bye-bye, everyone. Peace out.